Here I'm at the Commercial Center at 953 East Sahara, about five and a half blocks east of Las Vegas Boulevard and about two blocks west of Maryland Parkway. This is called the Commercial Center. It was built in 1960. This is where everybody came to shop back in the day because this is Vegas wasn't as large. Uh, this is a newer establishment put in here. This is called Vicky's Diner, which I've ate at Vicky's. It moved from Las Vegas Boulevard to the corner here. And I've ate at both when they were on Las Vegas Boulevard. It's kind of a hidden gem, really good food. I'm going to eat something when I get done making this video from there. That's called the Nevada Room. It's more of a like a lounge type that's newer also through here uh this is ghost kid comics and collectibles this is a new thing that just came into here if you're local or a tourist this kind of shows you what's going on in here that's new this is lotus of siam thai restaurant which I think Lotus is not open at this location anymore. It's a very famous, a lot of movie stars and famous people have ate here, singers. I think this is, yeah, it's closed. It's the only, uh, this is the original, but there's one on Flamingo Boulevard also. Very well-known, famous restaurant. A lot of stars have eaten here. This closed during the COVID and it's never opened back up. It's the original location, so I would hope they would open back up. This is the adult daycare center. I think that's newer in here also. Most of these places I'm going to bring you by are all new. Uh, this is Palms Wellness and Spa. Club, Club Yamang, which this has been here a while. I'm not even sure if they're still open. I think they open on the weekends or later at night. Uh, this is the Q Club. Las Vegas Q Club. This opened in the early 60s. It's open 24 hours a day. Uh, let's see. All the way down you go, it's the Q Club. So you're... It's quite a big place. It's got a lot of tables in it. I, I think at least 30 tables. Nine footers. Uh, this place here is a... Uh, one of those rooms that you try to break out of. It's got different themes, Speakeasy, Ultimate Heist, Prison Break, Sherlock Holmes, Find the Clues, you gotta do it in an hour. Uh, nothing's in here yet. This is a men's spa, which is a gay club for men. Uh, I think that's been there for a long time also. Nothing in this business. Uh, this is a karaoke bar here. This is Rainmaker Studio Productions. You can make, you gotta, it's by appointment only. I think you uh, can make commercials and videos they do for you. This used to be a restaurant, I think, PP, but it's not around anymore. Uh, we're getting into some stuff now that this little area right through here is pretty vacant. to show people this at the very end where it says youth center that actually used to be a called the ice palace and when rock rock and roll bands would come into las vegas they didn't really want them playing on the strip because they had like frank and sammy and all them on the strip so they made them play here led zeppelin has played in there it's pretty small too uh, zeppelin's played there the doors a lot of rock bands. This is a sushi place. 
So Jiang sushi and Korean barbecue. I'm here real early in the morning, so the only things that are open is like that little diner I was just walked by that I'm gonna go back and eat at. And they're open from like six to two, but they serve anything anytime. So if you want dinner at 5 a.m., they'll serve you whatever, or you can have breakfast or whatever. Uh, that's a commercial arts building there. I think they rent spaces out for like little studios for people to be able to work on art and stuff. Uh, most of this area back through here that I'm walking through is all shut down. The bottom is. The top might not be. Oh, there's two floors to these places and a lot, if I show you this other side here, over there, there's restaurants in between those stairwells. I've ate at a really good lobster roll. I'll show you where it was at. But the place closed down. It was a real small little kitchen and you had a couple tables inside and I got it to go one day, a lobster roll, and it was really good. Yeah, this is all shut down through here. This used to be a big deal though back in the day, this area. This is where they had the rock shows. It used to be called the Ice Palace. Then it was a roller rink, and I don't know what they did to it. Now it's a use the center. So they took the roller rink out of it, because I've seen they had roller hockey and different events going on inside of there, so it's still probably got the roller rink in it. It's called Event Center, Tri, Tri PTO Event Center. Here's what they have up in here. They have a violin guy, uh, violin outlet, Sin City Sisters, which I'm not sure what that is. Modern Art Concepts, it's right over here. I'll show you that. Photo Bang Bang, a wellness center with counseling. This is a little. This is new. This is a little coffee house called Vegas Camp. Uh, here's where the restaurant was that I ate at. It's back on the left. There is something still in here because it says eat, drink, and game. There's a lot of things upstairs. There's like an alcohol awareness. Uh, puzzle place that sells puzzles. Just a little bit of everything through here and in here. Hello. This is a barber shop. Classic rock barber shop. A little logo. There's their phone number if you need to get your hair cut. Uh, this is an office that, this is a little collectible place that sells like collectibles and older furniture like that. There's a bunch of little prints they have in the window. Slides. Some of them say NASA on them. Kodak. Real old. Uh, nothing there. Oh, this, oh, they're still open. This is a place called Hellbound Horror. It's like a novelty shop with a lot of, uh, it's got magic and horror stuff and cl scary clowns and just all kinds of little collectibles. They were here last time I came through here, so they've been here a while. There's a bookstore down there, a couple little businesses, another barber shop. And then on the end is a Korean, now he moved, that was a Korean, uh, oh right here, on the other end is a Korean grocery store, and then next to the Korean grocery store is a 24 hour uh, alcohol, you can buy beer, wine, cigarettes, and there's a dance studio upstairs of that one, the Wholesale Mart is what is the Korean shop uh this is new a tattoo parlor just came in here uh 
Raza Rojas restaurant that's been here since I moved here. And they wrap around the other side of that building there. It's a pretty big restaurant. The tattoo parlor is new. It's called the Best of Las Vegas. Established in 2019, but they haven't been here that long. Uh, this has nothing in it. This used to be a restaurant. I think it was a Nigerian restaurant. Well, this, here's a Korean restaurant right here. A lot of these places get pretty packed. If you come by here at lunchtime, they're, the parking lot's pretty full, so they must have decent food. This guy has hookahs, vapes, kratom, and CBDs. This is brand new. This is a little lounge you can hang out. Free samples. Uh, oh, no, here's the Nigerian food place. I want to try here someday just to check it out. Uh, I actually watched a YouTube video of a guy eating in here, and he liked the food. And he was very unfamiliar with it also, which I don't really know. I wouldn't know what to pick. But he ended up enjoying the food a lot. So... Uh, some other little restaurants down here. Let's see what we got. There's how close you are to like the Strat. There's the Sahara. You're about five and a half blocks off of Las Vegas Boulevard. And you're not going to get the traffic or the prices either. This is going to be a lot cheaper to eat at than eating on the boulevard. Here's some Thai food, bistro, and dessert. I haven't eaten here yet either, which I wouldn't mind trying. That's red duck curry, squid ink, drunken noodles, tenderloin black pepper, and crispy lemongrass catfish, which looks really good. And this is an Arwean Pad Thai. They don't have their hours on the window, but uh, let's see what's this one is a veg authentic Thai cuisine and vegetarian. This place opens from 11 to 3, and then they're back open from 5 to 9, which is kind of weird, but it's called Komal. Authentic Thai cuisine and vegetarian. This place is new. Sabacos Colombian Bakery. They're open from 8 a.m. to 6 p.m. They're closed Saturday, Sunday. Let's look at their bakery menu real quick. Bonellos, a buck. Fresh eggs, $4.95. You get fried eggs, scrambled, huevos, revoltos, huevos fritos. Uh, croissants, two and a quarter. Pretty cheap prices. Actually, and then you come over here to their drink menu. Coffee's a buck fifty. Iced coffee's two seventy-five. Uh, Coca-Cola fountain drinks twenty-four ounce for two bucks. Pretty good prices, actually. Most of these places, when you get off the off the strip, you'll know, drop half price. And they're just as good at food. Most of these places, if you come to Vegas and read some reviews on some places to eat, like just a couple blocks off the strip, and you'll get You'll find all kinds of good places to eat or check out other than just gambling the whole time you're here. You know, I mean, there's other things to do in Las Vegas than just sitting in a casino. That's called Spotlight Lounge right in front of us. That's 24 seven. There's a whole bunch of, uh, that's John Fish Jewelers. I'm gonna go by there real fast. This is where Elvis used to come and buy jewelry for people that he liked when he would come to Vegas. They have pictures of him at John Fish Jewelers buying uh, his wife, Priscilla Presley, uh, jewelry out of here. And then other people, they have a, I think I even watched a video where he came in, parked in front, got out of the car, went inside, and they showed him coming back out. So somebody was filming him, they were sitting in the car. This is a banquet hall. For like weddings and stuff like that graduations crystal hall this is uh let me just 
that's the green door. That's like a famous strip where men and women go. It's a swap club where you can swap your old lady for another girl or she can swap you. That's Balkan Bar and Grill, Badlands Saloon, Pita Plus, Las Vegas Tactical, which the entrance to that's on the other side. They sell security guard stuff, handcuffs, boots, uniform stuff. This is John Fish Jewelers. Like I said, this is where Elvis used to come in here and buy stuff. It's still open and still have all their jewelry. I don't know if you can see that well. You probably can't see that, but they have all their stuff inside of there. So. And that's pretty much the tour of the commercial center. And I'm back at Vicky's Diner right in front of me. And I'm going to head in there and get some food. Good food. And you can eat a dinner here. Drink, dinner, and tip under 15 bucks and you're full. And it's really good home style food like mashed potatoes, gravy, salad, soups, uh, meatloaf, grilled steaks, uh, liver and onions, fish, anything you want. So have a good one everybody and thanks for stopping in.